For students and staff in the McNary County School District, classes were canceled Friday. Greg Martin, the district's director of schools, tells WREG a recent rise in flu cases is to blame. Our numbers had subsided toward the end of last week, uh, got down to kind of a manageable number. They began to trickle back up on Wednesday and Thursday. The flu was also taking its toll on the district support staff. We were really having to double up with a number of bus routes. Uh, that was really pushing our support staff to the limit. So we felt like taking today and disinfecting our buildings would certainly help us get back to a much more normal routine on Monday. At Labonner Children's Hospital, the number of pediatric flu cases has increased. It doesn't really surprise me. We've been talking a lot about the flu for the past couple weeks. We're certainly seeing a lot of children coming into Labonner and being tested for the flu, testing positive in our emergency room. Dr. Sandy Arnold, the chief of pediatric infectious diseases at Labonner, says parents shouldn't anticipate a severe flu season because it's already here. It's not surprising to us, given that we have not really had any flu since the start of the pandemic, that we have a lot of susceptible people out there. And so, again, as I said, really important to get your flu shot. It's why health experts say McNary County made the right decision in doing its part to slow the spread of the flu. I think that the closing of the schools <clears throat> and removing the people who have flu from the schools is going to be the most important thing. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3.